Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another walkthrough episode for the game Tales of Legendia. Oh, and by the way, wait, this is the very first to, to Tales of Sith series uh, game that I've ever played. Well, this takes me uh, back to my uh, years in high school. It's when, when I, I was walking to uh, the local video store well, one day and I, and I wanted to run. Renegade, a game that I could play on the uh, weekend uh, for the PlayStation 2 system. And I'll tell you what, why I picked Tales of Legendia after this. What is this place? Quite a sight, isn't it? It's amazing that all of this is on a ship. There's even a city. Hmm? Have you ever heard the word Marinus before? No. Hmm. Very well. An ancient kingdom once flourished aboard the legacy. It was known as the Kingdom of Terrasus. The kingdom was actually led by a person designated as the Marinus. So you're saying this Marinus thing is connected to the legacy? That's right. It seems that the Marinus was able to control this great ship using nothing but the power of his will. The reason Shirley is being pursued is because some people believe her to be a descendant of the Marinus. Why would they think that? Right around the time you arrived, a pillar of light appeared in the center of the legacy. A pillar of light. When the pillar of light appears, a new Marinus shall arise. It's an old legend taken from the records of Terrasus. That's got nothing to do with us. It's just a coincidence. I thought so too at first, but once I laid eyes on her, on Shirley, I started to wonder. Why? Because Marinus means shining one. <sighs> the legacy was discovered 15 years ago. The ship is shrouded in countless mysteries, very few of which have been solved. We don't have the slightest idea about even basic things like how it moves or when it will stop. Were a descendant of the Marinus to appear, many would consider her an invaluable asset. Yeah, well, that's got nothing to do with Shirley. I uh, had to change batteries really quick before it died out on me, so... As I was uh, saying... When I looked at the uh, box uh, cover for uh, for the game Tales of Legendia... Uh, well, uh, Sano... Uh, kind of, the way Sano is designed, he kind of reminds me of Mugen from Samurai Champ Lu. It's... Uh, well, the facial features remind me of the character yourself. designs as seen in, uh, from Samurai Champloo. And up uh, reading the contents on the uh, back, well, it's, it seemed kind of interesting, but... But it, 
it just uh, it seemed a little unappealing to me at first, but then I couldn't decide which game I would want to rent. I mean, there are pl plenty of good, good uh, games on the shelves. And once I died, I should have considered uh, playing what, after uh, reading them up on New Type USA. So, in the end, I ended up uh, running this game. immediately draw drawn in I cannot stop playing this uh, game since my uh, rental only lasted for uh, five dead days I had to, to turn it in but uh, sometime on the date on the fifth day to where it's a beacon. It gets its name from the lighthouse. Lively little place, isn't it? A lighthouse? Here? It's some kind of beacon. A remnant of the kingdom of Terrasis. No one knows what it's really for. It lights up occasionally, so that people just think of it as a lighthouse. The uh, battery keeps uh, dying, but I'll, I'll record for one more minute. The guy says, Will, great timing, come quick. There's a plaza with a fountain in the center of the city. Wait for me there, Sam. Hey, first tell me how to get to the bandit's lair. Ah, oh, shoot. The plaza with the fountain. The, you're limited to, to travel around in... in well, where it's this bit beacon, but... I'll tell tell you what what the, there's more more to the to explore later on in the game. So thanks for uh, watching. Until next time, see ya.